Welcome on YouTube, this is I Adhere it again. Today we are going to deal with a lock update, 20 month lock update. So we are going to show you now length of the locks. We are going to do a complete 360, show on the back and all of that. The Congos them and all them shits. Yeah, well not shits, antennas. Here is antennas, here is very important. Alright, so I'm going to get into it now. Yeah, this is. It has been 20 months since I've been growing my hair. Um, I've been growing from scalp level, so I literally started with nothing. Like, I had a haircut, and the higher self said, Don't cut your hair again. <laughs> and I just didn't cut my hair again, and that was it. So I just left it, and it not up, and this is the result after 20 months. Alright, so now we're going to why I don't cover my locks because, you know. Realize a lot of people, a lot of even Rastafarians keep covering their locks and then they realize eh, a white man start to tell black people to cover their fucking hair because they, they, they tell us over here nappy and ugly so they want to wrap it up when they know the power over here that's why they tell us to wrap it up don't cover your hair, where you cover your antennas for? Eh? Well, if you cover your antennas, a low reception will go on you, know? you can't get no high reception if no good reception if you cover the antenna, you know. If you throw a towel over a radio antenna, what about it? It's not going to pick up no good frequency. Alright, don't cover your fucking dreadlocks. Don't cover them, don't wrap them up. Don't cover them. <laughs> the antenna is them here. To pick up information from your surroundings, from the cosmos. Why are you covering them? Why are you covering your hair? The only time I cover my hair is when I go to my bed, you know. And the only reason why I cover my ear when I'm going to sleep is because of the fuzz, you know. Here I track a lot of lint. Dreadlock is very magnetic, ele ele electromagnetic. You get that? It is electromagnetic. So it attracts a lot of fuzz. And not only fuzz, it attracts spiritual vibrations, things where you can't see. This is your sixth sense, you know. You have the eyes to see, the skin to feeling, tongue for tasting, nose to smelling, ears to hearing. Here, I will connect you to the surrounding, we make you intuitive. This is what our ancestors used to use to know exactly what to do. You know, this is why our ancestors were so smart. And then the white man knew that. So then the first sign of slavery is the first thing when people are trying to enslave people, the first thing they do is cut off their ear and your nails. That's it. And nails is the next significant spiritual, nails have a spiritual significance to people. May I get into that in another video? But don't cut your hair, you know, don't cover your antennas. Why are you covering your antennas? Why? <laughs> Which other animal in the nature you see cover them antennas? Hmm? Name one. No other being in the nature not covering their antennas. Only humans feel like they wrap up them dreadlocks and hide it for some strange reason. <laughs> you don't need to hide it. This is your fucking... This is an extension of your nervous system. It's an extension of your being. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Is your antennas? It's a natural thing. Any human left, un any human being that is left for a period of time without cutting their ear, your ear will turn like this. It's a natural song. It is very natural. There is no need to cover it up and hide it and <laughs> protect it. Where are you protect it from? The locks are naturally form a protective barrier for themselves. You don't need to cover your locks. It doesn't make no sense. Yeah, black have a connection, that is where you are. You make the white man smile when they do that. <laughs> don't do it, don't cover up your locks. You have no reason to cover your locks. Yet. Let them go, make them pick up information and download and everything from the cosmos. Feel you to be an eye person and yourself. That is what you need to do. Now, I'm going to show you how I used to cover my hair in the night. So, just one of them here. This. So, I'm going to know what it's called. I'm call it dreadlock cap. Yeah. Alright, so we get it from um, the beauty store. Like maybe $2 feet. You know, cheap. $2. And, yeah. And when I go to bed, this is what I do. Put it up. There you go. Boom. Done. Make sure some relax them straighten out because if them, if them curl up, they might wake up in the morning and see them look kinky kinky. Because, you know. I just saw them stay more well. Them stubborn and then do their own thing. I just saw nature stay there. You can't really monitor how them all come out. They want to do their own thing like nature. You can't really tame it. It 
why I'm chaotic. You know, seem like I hear in my nervous system. So this is what we do. Put on this, go to bed, we put on the morning, no fuss. Because I try to keep my locks clean, keep my antennas clean. I don't want a foreign objects of uh, no cotton and no lint and no rare, you know, in my locks. You know, and then I will do a video and tell you how to get lint out of your hair if it ever happens. Because the lint did get it on the hair in the first half of my lock journey. And yeah, we have to you know, so, so get it out. So I will do a video and we'll tell you how to keep your locks clean and how to do that. that, that. And we do a video um, about self love and self respect. If you're not sure that yet, go and go check it out. Yeah, I think it's a very important thing. People need to know about self love and self respect. Because a lot of people going around <laughs> literally not knowing nothing about them. You know, they uh, demand love and respect for everybody else and they demand love and respect themselves. So, yeah, I make a video about that. So you can go check it out. So, I will do a full 360 right now. Congo, Congo, the next Congo right here. So, and yeah, so I'm glad they're really big, you know. I can tell you, I'm free from, I never separate them, I never do nothing. This is how they come. This is my frequency, you know, this is my frequency. Here is my frequency, here is the vibration. Look on the electromagnetic scale. It shows you the more kink and curl, the more kink and coil is stronger the energy, the more straight the ear look on, whatever, and the weaker the vibration, the weaker the energy, you know? So look on the electromagnetic scale, man. Black people have a strong frequency. We have only by energy. That's how here looks it's a reflection of vibration. It's a reflection of energy, you know? So don't look at your and say, oh, it's kinky and da 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 nappy. No, don't go straighten out your ear. Keep it kinky and nappy. That is how the <laughs> spiral, you know? That is the fucking way of DNA spiral too. So you get DNA spiral, it reflect through your ear. Very connected to everything around it. So yeah, man, that is a dreadlock review, 20 month update. Give thumbs to the Journey YouTube channel once more. Like, comment, share, subscribe.